The RV Show USA. Start living the RV dream today. Well, hi, everybody. Welcome back to my virtual campfire. Alan Warren, the RV wingman. Appreciate you joining me today. Today, I'm going to give you a little bit more information about the relaunch of the RV Show USA radio program. A few people have some um, questions, if you will, and some comments. Most people are kind of excited about it. We're excited about it. It starts the weekend of October the 7th nationwide on radio stations all across the country. And so that said, in this video, in addition to uh, maybe playing a voicemail that I got, from somebody that's concerned and has some advice for me. Uh, I'm gonna read an email from somebody that had an experience at Camping World. Yeah, Camping World, and you're not gonna believe it. I promise you, you're, I think it's true, but I don't know if you're gonna believe it. I have my doubts. All right, so the RV Show USA radio program, uh, I began back in 2017. I did it for five years. I took a hiatus during the, the COVID um, and I'm semi-retired, supposed to be retired according to my wife. I sold my campground, our campground, and um, I'm working part-time. I love to work. I love RVers. I love the RV lifestyle. And that's why I'm going back into the radio show business. The show is going to be a one hour weekly program. We're going to record it live. Uh, it probably won't be live as it runs on stations across the country, but we record it live. Now, uh, some of you people, I know you're probably not one of them, but you may think that I am oftentimes a little bit negative. I don't see being honest as being negative. I'm just giving you my view of things, the good, the bad, and everything in between. But I'll tell you in just a minute what the RV Show USA radio program is going to be about. And so uh, let me just play this. Let me, let me play this voicemail. And I think a lot of people have this concern. One hour of the weak man, the weak man, <laughs> the wingman. That's me. I'm not the weak man. Sometimes I feel weak. Anyway, one hour of the wingman a week. Um, let's see what Jesse has to say. Alan, my name's Jesse. I'm from Louisiana. I've left messages with you before about my favorite dealer, Berryland Campers. Um, I watch, have been watching your show, The RV Wingman, for at least a couple of years now. And I just got through watching your latest show major announcement by the wingman if you are going to do this rv show deal uh my only comment to you is i watch you every day because your shows are 10 to 12 13 minutes usually if this new rv radio trade show pro whatever it's going to be is going to start going an hour or longer then you will be losing me as a subscriber, Alan. I'm not going to sit down and listen to that amount of BS for over an hour. Just not interested. And I'm sure that you will have a bunch of other subscribers that are not going to stay on for an hour or longer. You might want to give that some serious thought. Well, Jesse, thanks for your phone call. Thanks for joining me always around this virtual campfire. Relax, man. It's going to be a one hour show, but not just of me sitting here pontificating. It's going to contain four segments. Basically, you know, look at a look at a pie, a pizza pie, maybe four segments. Segment one will always be the wingman. I will share thoughts and comments and editorial and do some interviews and mix it up with some phone calls, voicemail messages, um, good and bad. And I will, you know, I'll be me on segment number one. Segment two, three, and four will be a compilation of all different kinds of people across the RV and outside the RV spectrum. Um, this show is gonna be a magazine format. It will appeal, have a little bit of something for everyone. It's not necessarily for the hardcore RVer, although I think the hardcore RVer will like it. It's not necessarily only for the newbie or the wannabe RVer. It's for somebody that enjoys RVing and the conversation and spending time, again, around our virtual campfire. I wanna address a couple of things. When I was doing the radio show before, I had advertisers, your traditional advertisers. And, and as I grew the show, the show got a little bit bigger and bigger. These advertisers wanted me to do their commercials for them. And that's certainly understandable. But the show became, and this is just my opinion, the show became what many YouTube channels, probably gonna make some people mad at me, are becoming a commercial where you're just infiltrating everything into the content of what you're trying to do. 
And I didn't like that. And so what my goal is in my semi-retirement years is to grow a network of trustworthy dealers, dealers that I trust, dealers that I have vetted, dealers that I feel comfortable sending my friends, my family, if you will, the community of people that join me on uh, this channel and around my virtual campfire, send them to dealers that will treat you right. And so I'm trying to grow that network. And with these radio stations popping up all over the country, from Oregon, I got one recently in Oklahoma, you know, they're, they're, they're popping in and adding the program all the time. It's gonna give me an opportunity to find those local dealers that you can trust. So instead of having traditional advertisers, like you're gonna sit here on other radio programs, you're gonna hear basically the RV Dealers I Trust Network. That's it. And I'm hopeful that this network is going to grow. We've got several dealers. That, well, actually, truth is, we had a few dealers that were like this close. They wanted to become a part of the network, and I just didn't feel right about them. Maybe I'm too picky, but you know, I may have to lower my standards. I hope I don't. There are some good dealers out there, and I need help in finding them. By the way, if you have a dealer experience, good or bad, I want to hear from you. My phone number is in the description of the video down below. It's a 24-hour voicemail. You can leave me a message as long as you want to leave it, and I promise to get back to as many people as possible. So it's going to be brought to you by the RV Dealers I Trust Network. And I will continue to produce my quarterly free RV report. And the next one's coming out the first part of October, coincides with the uh, launch, relaunch of the RV Show USA. So if you have downloaded the report before, you'll be able to download the most recent up-to-date version of it starting in October. But let me go back to Camping World. Uh, I have an email address and all my contact information, as I said, is down below in the description of this video. <laughs> And this guy sent me an email that I just couldn't believe. So let's go to it right now. It's from it's from a guy, before I go to it, named Marcus Lamonis. I'm kidding. It's not from Marcus. It says, hi, wingman. You're probably not wanting to hear this, but we have now purchased two trailers from Camping World, Rockford, Illinois, actually Roscoe, Illinois, and have been satisfied, very satisfied with them, and will continue to recommend them with the caveat that do your homework. That's a really good idea. Doing your homework, no matter who you buy from. Inspect your purchase and ask for the bottom line price. I call it the out the door price. The out the door with everything added on, the out the door price. It says, we knew what make and model we wanted and they happily brought it in from another dealer in another state. This dealership was fantastic to work with and both times treated us as one should be treated. If the desire arises again, we will visit them again. We were not pressured to purchase the extended warranties either. Note, we also needed service work after the sale and they scheduled it and completed it as agreed. Jim N. That's great to hear, Jim N. I get so many people that are so unhappy with their decision to purchase at Camping World. And some of you people are out, out there probably saying, he never says anything good about them. Well, when I get something, and this is a rarity, somebody that's bought two RVs from Camping World and is happy with both purchases and the service, the follower, follow up after the sale, this is the first time this has ever happened. So I try to keep the scales balanced. I really do and try not to show my bias too much. But the RV Show USA, Again, radio program is going to launch the first weekend of October. Uh, we're working on the website. Now it's going to be a simple little website. And uh, I'm not trying to be the biggest thing that ever was. I'm just trying to communicate that there are good dealers. You need to know what to look for when you're looking for a good dealer, when you're looking for a, an RV, looking for a dealer that you can trust. And whether you buy from the dealers in this network or not, I hope you will slow down. Take your time. Think long. I know you're excited about an RV purchase. It is exciting, but it can be also overwhelming, especially for the newbie. The newbie gets out there and thinks, well, I'll figure it out after I get it. Well, you will, and I don't care how smart you are, how many RVs you've owned before. The, the systems may work similarly in your next RVs, but there are all kinds of little nuanced things that you need to be able to adjust with. So finding the right dealer and the right RV is so important. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for today. If you have any questions about the RV Show USA, and no, I don't have a station list, don't have it. I'll probably get some station information, but it's gonna be distributed on the Salem Radio Network, which is kind of a big deal. I'm proud of it, and the Westwood, what, 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 what? I, get, I get thinking so fast, my mouth can't keep up. The Westwood One Satellite 
distribution delivery system that they're going to use to get the program out there. So again, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Sorry for going on so long today. I'm Alan Warren, the RV Wingman. Be safe, have fun, play nice, and don't leave your good manners at home. I'll see you next time.